you came across this question in the jam exam how will you solve it it's actually very easy now let's solve together the question says if a gas occupies a container of volume 146 centimeter cube that's cm cube at 18 degrees celsius that is temperature and 0 0.971 atm which is pressure its volume in cm cube at stp is now how do we solve this question it's very easy now before we solve the question we have to know the topic to which this question is from in the subject called chemistry and this particular question is from the topic in chemistry called gas laws okay so this particular question is from the topic in chemistry called gas law you know we have different gas laws like the boys law charles law we have the general gas law we have the id gas equation we have the avogadro's hypothesis we have the graham's law of diffusion and also we have the Gelugzas law of combining volume we have so many gas laws so which of them will i use to solve this question now to do that is actually very easy and we have to look at the parameters given to me in this question before i know the particular law formula to apply now let's bring out the parameters in this question so we can solve carefully this question it's actually very easy now watch closely if you observe they say if a gas occupies a container of volume this that volume i saw in this question is my first volume so i will call it v1 and what is it 146 centimeter cube at 18 degrees celsius remember i said that that degree celsius there signifies temperature so that is my first temperature so then i will call it t1 and what was it it was 18 degrees celsius and 0 0.971 atm that is pressure and it was my first pressure given to me in the question so i'll call it p1 and it was 0 0.971 atm now then i said comma its volume in cm cube at stp is that means they are asking us to get another volume then the other volume they are asked us to get will become v2 i believe you understand what i'm saying so they are asking us to get the second volume which becomes v2 but they said it must be in centimeter cube so we are looking for the volume which is v2 in centimeter cube it's actually very easy but we have to pay attention to something said in this question the 2024 jump examination is to commence in few days time now here is the good news now this is strictly for the science student now due to popular demand so many students have been on my dm requesting for me to organize a revision class lesson in the subject chemistry and i thought of it very important for me to organize this class in order to help so many jump aspirants and i believe you watching me now can attest to the fact that all my videos here on youtube and also on tiktok are very very explicit and easy to understand and this is the approach to which i'll be teaching in this revision class lesson and this is a class you cannot afford to miss because i'll be walking you through different topics in chemistry from the introductory aspect but now this time around i'll be solving more of past questions for each topics i'll be solving at least about 20 questions ranging from the introductory aspect of chemistry down to organic chemistry so this is a class you cannot afford to miss because i know the key areas to which jam says their questions in chemistry and also in biology as well where in this class i will still tell you guys key topics to focus on so this is a class lesson you cannot afford to miss like naming organic compounds electrolysis solubility nuclear chemistry atomic structure periodic table metals and non-metals these are key areas you should focus more on and these are the topics i'll be teaching in this intensive revision chemistry class lesson this is an intensive revision class lesson you cannot afford to miss to be part of this class make sure you follow the
the instructions here in the screen. Thanks for watching. <laughs>
Making V2 subject is going to be when you have to make this subject, everything here with times you divide by P2 and T1. It's simple. I believe you know this. So V2 will now be equal to P1, V1, T2 divided by, okay, these two guys, which is P2, T1. Do you understand? It's actually very easy. Now, if you are just joining this community, and you haven't yet subscribed to this channel do want to click on the subscribe button and also share all of these video lessons with your friends because it's going to help you all improve greatly in the subject chemistry so let's progress what becomes v2 p1 has given the question is 0.971 which we are seeing here 0.971 times v1 146 146 times t2 273 divided by p2 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 is 180m and lastly t1 you can see initially they gave us in degree celsius but i told you whenever you're solving any practice question on gas law or in chemistry majorly make sure you convert your temperature to in degree celsius to kelvin and how do you do that it's actually very easy you use the equation which is this i'm about writing the board so convert temperature to Kelvin scale, it is degree Celsius plus 273. So Kelvin will not be equal to what's degree Celsius given the question? 18 degrees Celsius plus 273. Then it's gonna be 18 plus 273. What's that? 18 plus 273. That's 291 Kelvin. 291 Kelvin K. So here become 291. Don't use your temperature in degrees Celsius like that. It won't work. Okay. So what becomes V2 when we hit our calculator at the end? So we are having 0 0.971 times 146 times 273 divided by 1 times 291. We are having 132.9. Okay. Which is approximately 133 centimeter cube because they said we should make sure it's in centimeter cube definitely it should be in centimeter cube why the initial was in centimeter cube do you understand so the one we have to solve should be in centimeter cube as well and in the look of things the answer to this question becomes option a which is very easy i believe you understand all what have been done here so if you find this video lesson helpful do well to click on the subscribe button if you're watching this video on youtube if you are watching it on TikTok, do it to click on the follow button and also share with your friends. So get ready for your own practice question. And if your own practice question, the volume here will be changed to let's say 200 centimeter and this will be changed to let's say 25 degrees Celsius and, uh, and let's leave the pressure like that and let's still get volume as well so at stp i believe you know what to do it's actually very easy make sure you use the standard value for temperature and pressure okay so all these must be noted make sure you put the answer in the comment section thanks for watching